What's up guys? Welcome back to Oregon Fishing Adventures. We are back out here on the creek right close to my house today because it is waiter season guys. We are getting into the season where everybody's going to be wanting to wear their waders to the river. Uh, we got fall salmon season and then following fall salmon we got winter steelhead. For me in Oregon those are the two busiest times of year as far as being on the river and being in your waders. We're coming out of summer summer a lot of people do wet wading a lot of people aren't worried about their waders or they wear like what i wear in the summer which is my slate wading pants that are only waist high and you don't really wear a full waders but it is salmon season and we're definitely going to be wearing our waders a lot so i wanted to talk to you guys today it's been a year now that i've been using the meridian z waders from paramount outdoors and i absolutely love them they have been my favorite waders so far. I had a couple questions about the seam on the knee when I first got them. Um, and then I looked around and I started to realize that a lot of their brands are also doing that same thing, um, the construction like this. And honestly, I have been on my knees so many times, taking care of fish on the bank, in the gravel, just like I have right here today. Um, and I have had zero issues with these at all. No leaks, nothing. You can see they're a bit dirty, you know, from just general wear and use, but other than being dirty, they're doing their job. They're keeping me dry. They're still comfortable. They're not falling apart on me or anything. Uh, so I've really been loving these waders. Paramount Outdoors puts out a great product. And I've also been using their slate waders for a while now too. And those things have been doing awesome. I actually got the slates about six months or so before these. So I have a little bit more time in the slate waders. But these ones I've put some heavy, heavy use in. Definitely been torture testing these. Trekking through blackberries. Trekking through whatever. Been crawling around on the riverbanks. Trying to, literally, I'm not even joking. I literally was crawling around trying to get to a certain hole on a riverbank. Because this last year, the... Uh, the bushes kind of grew over the trail that used to allow me to get to the spot that I got to. And I didn't have a machete. I didn't have any way to hack through it. So I literally crawled through there uh, in my waders and everything with my fishing poles and stuff. And these have just been absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm so stoked on these and the, the six ply construction. Uh, one thing I do like about this as well is the six ply construction in these waders um, is all the way up to right here where you can see this color change right about the waist and the thing I've noticed is the the lower section is where 90% of your wear and tear from waders is going to be because when you're trekking through and you're going through the woods you're not having a whole bunch of problems with the upper section especially if you're wearing a jacket if you have a wading jacket like I have my uh, Paramount Outdoors whetstone wading jacket that I wear um, if I'm wearing that, you know, it's also helping protect the upper section of the waders, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but even just alone, even with nothing on them, the uppers has been totally fine. The, the upper section doesn't see nearly as much stuff when you're trekking through things. I mean, sure, I have definitely had some, like, blackberry bushes in the upper section, but I haven't gotten any leaks. And I've been in these waders pretty deep in the water. A few times and I have not experienced any leaks no, nothing from the zipper the zipper has been great it, it it uh isn't quite as easy to zip but I believe that they make a, a lubricant that you can put on these zippers and I haven't used I haven't used any kind of lubricant on this in the year of using it a little over a year actually um, still zips perfectly fine still perfectly watertight I love all the storage. So you have the two right up front. I keep my wallet in this one a lot. And then I keep my GoPro batteries in this other side. And then you have the hand warmer pockets that are just behind there. So you got hand warmer on each side that's felt lined. It's really nice. And then behind, right behind that. So there's basically the, uh, there's the hand warmer pocket and then there's a side pocket here. And these side pockets are pretty deep. Right now I have my phone in here and I got my inhaler. And uh, yeah, they're, they're good deep pockets. They go all the way up, all the way up to here, all the way down to here. So, I mean, if you needed to put 
fly boxes or whatever you could put fly boxes in the side you could probably put fly boxes in the front pockets honestly because they are pretty good size they're they're here to here so they're not the the side ones have a little bit more height to the actual storage space um, but then there's also an inside pocket let me show you here so there's an inside pocket right here and this one opens up and it also goes like pr pretty deep in here um, pretty much like back to where the seam line is on the waders um, so it goes from here to that seam line so if there's anything that you want to keep in the inside of your waders um, that's a perfect spot for that and then uh, yeah I use these have these little things right here and and you can use these little loops as something to uh, use as an attachment point if you want you can like for instance I have I have a lighter clip to this d-ring but if I wanted to you could clip it here right and so you have an extra use but what I honestly use these for the most is I use these for um, hanging it so I like to hang my waders I don't know how you guys handle your waders after you're done wearing them but me personally every time I'm done wearing them I hang my waders on the wall right next to my bed and that's where they stay until the next time that I'm gonna go fishing so I've been using these um, as as a hanging point for putting on a hanger and it works great for that I it, it's really actually perfect for that job um, the suspenders have been great the belt it is getting some wear and tear you can see it's kind of I got I caught it in the zipper a couple times so it is getting some wear and tear you know after a year a, uh, a year of pretty heavy use uh, I would expect to see some wear and tear um, otherwise you're probably not wearing your waders enough honestly um, and I got my my uh, pliers over here on the side and I got that clipped to my belt so that's a nice thing too is if I'm pulling out my pliers and I drop them right like still connected no big problem so yeah i don't know i like that little setup for my pliers works out pretty well for me and uh yeah if you guys need some waders coming into the season i could not recommend these paramount outdoors meridian z waders more these are awesome waders they're super comfortable too uh, I have had no problem. Like I said, I've, I've trekked a lot in these. I put a lot of river miles on, if you will. Uh, I, I even used these all through summer um, when when I wasn't using my uh, slate pant waders. I was using these in the summer because there was a few times where I was going fishing places where uh, I was wading a little deeper than the pant waders could handle. And so I wore these, was wading up to probably about here and uh, no problems one thing i would note though one thing i would note um, if you are planning on wading in deeper water i do think that the slate waders are a little bit better of an option for deep wading the only reason being is because of the side pockets here that come through and the side pockets if you're not mindful of it <laughs> you're going to fill them up with water right so on the slate, the slate has a top pocket that goes across the top, and it actually has two. It has one flap over pocket, and then it has a zipper pocket on the front. And if you keep all your stuff stored in there, then the, the top point for that being exposed to water is all the way at the top of your zip, or at the top of your waders. Um, so you can definitely wade a little bit deeper without having to worry about that. However, these are water resistant zippers, and I found that as long as you have them zipped up and you remember <laughs> to zip up your pockets because I have a hard time with that sometimes then I haven't had any issues with having my stuff get wet that's inside the pockets as long as I make sure that these zippers are zipped up so these waders are awesome guys if you guys are looking for something that's going to be durable something that's going to be on the cheaper side and if you guys want you can use my discount code OregonFishing20 for 20% off that knocks off, I think, about $70 from these waders, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, so definitely look into the Meridian Z, guys. Also, if you're looking for a high water pair of waders, look into those slate waders. 
those have been awesome i'll be doing another review on uh the slate waders soon i'll get back out here and we'll do another review on those but the slate waders have been absolutely amazing um like i mean you can see like i said you can see some some dirt you can see some wear and tear marks you can see like around the cup there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of wear but overall i mean i've been trying to make these waders fail like that was purposely my idea was like see how much i can put them through and i'm totally happy with them 100 percent, 100 percent. so i would i would definitely spend my own money on these if if you guys are looking for a new pair definitely go check out paramount outdoors i'll leave a link to their website in the description below uh and yeah hop over there check out paramount outdoors and we'll see you guys next time on another Oregon Fishing Adventure. Peace.